In many countries, the degree of separation between church and state varies widely. While Uganda is a secular state, there are no explicit barriers between the government and religious institutions, although once in a while you will hear a politician advising the clergy to stick to the pulpit. Now, Fred Mwesije, a 38-year-old pastor and presidential candidate, wants to bring the church into the government. He is willing to work with any God-fearing person to usher in an era of God's love in Uganda's governance. If we use love, which God himself is love, and then we best that as being the solution and the answer, then that would help this nation to go on and gain whatever we want, the change that we want. Anyone out there who fears the God who created heaven and earth will vote in for error of love for Pastor Fred. Until this week, about 99% of Ugandans had never heard of Mwesije. But now that they know he is standing, why should they care? It's unfortunately that uh, by the time we've come to a point whereby we need the change, or whereby change is now visible, uh, at the same time the young people of Uganda, the messages they're receiving that are stirring up ang anger in them, they're stirring up hatred. The moment we have a change in that kind of a situation, it's going to cause a different wave that the Ugandans will not want. His closest confidants claim that Mwesije was handpicked by God to succeed President Museveni in 2023. Although he is non-committal on this, it seems the pastor's campaign is based more on the spiritual than the physical. If I bring it up here, it will, it will bring biasness to certain people. And, but uh, there are certain things I keep to myself for a time. But in future they will be revealed, certain things will play out themselves. And, uh, you know, you can't hide the truth forever. The father of five says he's running his campaign on profits from businesses and donations from well-wishers. However, he says he plans to increase the salaries of the security forces once elected into office. He expects the lowest earners in the security forces to get 500,000 shillings per month. To reduce on government expenditure, he intends to cut back on the number of districts to 62 and to trim the cabinet to 21 ministers and seven state ministers. Mwesije plans to have no presidential advisers as the cost of maintaining political patronage has made Uganda's public debt shoot up to 56.5 trillion shillings. With major shortfalls in revenue collection during the 2019-2020 financial year, how will this political novice clear these accumulating debts? There is what we call 3% uh, of what they get uh, to cater for the, for the budget GDP deficit. So instead of, uh, instead of getting that money and putting it, allocating it in the, uh, is it, they call it a, a sovereign wealth fund, something like that. I'll get that money and then use it to pay our debts. To plug inequality in the Division of National Resources, Mwesija says he plans to make employment available to everyone, regardless of tribe. All these uh, districts have people who are educated, people who can find something to do. Let me say the infrastructure kind of development, roads, uh, building schools, uh, that mean uh, uh, mining and everything. Born on July 22, 1982 in Entebbe to Justice Ndianawanji, a retired chef, and Agnes Nabuma, Mwesije, who can barely speak Ruchiga, is married to Fausta Nansubuga, and they have five children. He attended St. Agnes Primary School, Kajansi Progressive School, and St. Lawrence Citizens High School. He joined Makere University in 2004 to pursue a degree in information technology, but dropped out after one year due to financial constraints. Currently, he's in his second year studying a degree in theology at Kampala Christian College. In 2012, Mwesije became an associate pastor at Church of God World Missions in Kamocha. In 2014, he and a group of friends set up Kaznik Enterprises, a clearing, forwarding, and real estate company. In 2017, he founded House of God Worship Center Ministries International Church. The church is located in Chitoro Trading Center in Entebbe and has 50 members. They say love conquers all, and once in power, Pastor Mosier's government will run on the theme, love based on the fear of God. Well. The jury is still out on whether love can win this election. 
Jillian Nantume, NTV.